JB here with another video for you. I am back for Friday the 4th, I want to say. And I am here with yet another package. We've got one package here, one package here, all of Acro Mills units. Um, if you've been looking online here recently, the Acro Mills 2-pack went back on sale down to the point where it was like I think when I bought them they were 24 80 something a piece not counting tax but uh really good deal couldn't pass up on it so I ordered three of the um three of the two packs so two well I think three units are in this box one's here and then two more are not coming until tomorrow so I'm going to go ahead and set up the ones that came right there, right on the back side of that pier. So let's see what I see what All I got. Right. So I got these two out of the box so far. This one looks fine. But this one, that's pretty good too. Maybe it's just the one drawer. Where is it? Some of the drawers are kind of gross. I can't find it now. Yeah, there we go. Like really dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean these drawers out before I use them. Nice. I forget again. I'm definitely gonna take the dividers off this time. Hey, JB here. It is Saturday, the fifth, fourth. I don't know. One of those days in March. Um, <laughs> And I am back here in the brick kiln. Uh, I don't think I recorded like anything last night. I got very frustrated with my Wi-Fi again. Couldn't get it to work right. But uh, I did put in those four acro units. And I had to do a little bit of finagling because the um, they're wider, much wider than the Stanley ones back there. You can kind of see how the Stanley ones stop right here. And then there's like a little gap. So I had to separate this end cap stack to make it um, to make it fit. So it's kind of just all the way out on the end, but I figured the back drawers will be filling up first. So the weight will be fine, it'll be spread out. But uh, I did put this two by four up here and I taped it in place, but then I also took and drilled holes in the top of these and put a few screws to hold these units together so they're attached there uh, these units are screwed into the board and then this unit is also screwed into the board so everything is tied together so if I move this it moves everything all the way over there too which is a little scary but at the same time it seems to be very uh, sturdy for the most part and then I also took these are all taped together and I also took I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I took and screwed that, that screw right there at the back of the drawer is uh, holding to the Stanley cabinets. So everything is tied together pretty well. Uh, I also had to bring over some uh, some more stuff from my daughter's bedroom because my wife wants to decorate it for her. And she's like, hey, you still got stuff here. Get it out. <laughs> so I got my, um, my launch can encased in acrylic there. That one's from 1998 when Surge first was released, which is pretty cool. And then this one is from 1999 and is still sealed. I was going to drink it in 2019, but uh, totally forgot about it. So I was just going to do it for its 20 year anniversary, which might not be a good idea anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, also last night I did sort out um, these Ninjago sets, the little Ninjago bikes. I didn't get... To upload them because my Wi-Fi wouldn't work and I couldn't download the the parts values and everything on Brick Store. It just didn't want to work at all last night. Um, it was working a little bit earlier today, so hopefully my Wi-Fi will work tonight and I can get these parts uploaded. And um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Oh, and I also excuse the mess. <laughs> just got. My last two acro units, they came this afternoon. And so I'm going to get those 
hung up on the wall. Okay, so I started actually uploading the Ninjago sets. I also sorted out my um, Mandalorian battle packs. I had 10 copies of them. And uh, I sorted everything out. But my Wi-Fi is still not working properly, so I'm trying to use BrickLink on my phone, which is terrible and slow. <laughs> but uh, I, I've gotten somewhere. I've gotten the parts uploaded. These cups here are actually already lots that are in my inventory. So what I'm going to do is go... I uploaded them without putting them away, which might have been a mistake. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my inventory and there's an option to... Um, search for parts in a set. So I'm going to put the set number in there and then sort by remarks and then put these away. So that's my plan. Okay, so I got the um, Mandalorian Battle Packs and what was that other set? The Ninjago, whatever this set is, Jungle Raider set. I got those parted out into my store. Uh, with the minifigures, I parted out two of each minifigure into the store for the Mandalorians. And I listed quite a few whole. And then um, one of those battle packs was actually given to me as a gift. So I kept the minifigures from it, but parted out the pieces because I don't really need those. So there's the ones I'm keeping. And then the parts that are still on the table are all from, I believe these are all from, oh, where is it? Making everybody dizzy. This set, which I only had one of them. So I think I had two, but I gave one away. But uh, yeah, so still have to do that when I come back. But I'm finishing up tonight. Uh, it's going to be the first night this week week that I get out of here before 10 o'clock so um, yeah these these parts here I'll have to wait there's a lot of single part lots in here which is not really great but I just wanted to get it out of the store I mean not out of the store but into the store and out of these cabinets so they're in there and then uh, yeah, I, with the consolidating and condensing stuff all the way up to drawer 1041 now. But most most of the lots in this that were consolidating were early lots where the drawers were absolutely packed. And so I've cleared those parts out some. One thing, uh, this drawer here, 43, was absolutely packed with the... Uh, the little stud shooter pieces, the ones that are attached to the bricks, and the trigger pieces, because nobody needs trigger pieces. I, I don't remember what drawer they're in. I think they're in... Oh, yeah, here we go. 1038. I have over 200 of these things, and they were added in January of 2020 and have not sold yet at two cents a piece. So somebody please buy these from me. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for tonight. That's all for, I don't even remember what day it is. It's Saturday. Uh, time for me to go home. <laughs> One thing before I leave Saturday night. Um, these are the cape boxes from those Mandalorian battle packs. They're going in here with these creationary cards as my uh, cape packing material. They go up on this little shelf here. And... Um, when I sell a cape, I'll throw them in one of those boxes or in a bag with one of those creationary cards folded in half. And that's just a little thing I do. So I can actually ship them in cape boxes for a little bit. Hey, JB here again. Um, this is Sunday night, uh, March 6th. So, uh, I'm back in the brick kiln. I uh, just stopped by for a few minutes. I actually walked here. Uh, carrying 35 pounds of shipping labels because that was a good idea. But uh, I also, while I was here, I took the time to set up something that my wife gave me for Christmas. 
I put these under cabinet lights up. I still need to do a little bit to get them so you can't really see them hanging down. I mean, while you're standing up at eye level, you can't really see it. But yeah, right now they're just doing the color changing thing, but I can change it to different color temperatures. And one of those is my store teal color. So that's pretty cool. Don't know if that's really coming across on camera as well as it does in real life, but it's very cool. And so uh got those set up. And then something else I can do with these. Let's see, put it on the purple color. You can see it's getting that ultraviolet color that's making some of these pieces glow. So that's pretty cool. Very neat. And then um I also picked up these on sale at Walmart the other day. At least I think they're on sale. I'm not entirely sure what their, the normal price was on them. I think they were five bucks. But uh, I'm going to use these for... Um, shoot, what was I going to use them for? <laughs> when I'm looking at bulk lots right at first, I'm going to use these to see if there's any glow-in-the-dark pieces, which... While not super important, it's kind of neat just to be able to do, especially because I love the glow in the dark parts. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to actually put those or if I'm going to mount them to anything or just use them as a kind of a handheld thing. But yeah, there's the lights. And I think that's going to be it. I'm going to head back home because I wasn't even supposed to stop here. I was just going to go for a walk and I had those labels, so I walked over. And it's a good thing too because I remembered after the fact that I left some of my tools here the other day when I was working on stuff. So uh, I guess I'll see you on Monday. Hey JB here again, um, back in the brick kiln. Um, I totally forgot to start recording when I got here. It is um, Monday the whatever day. <laughs> but um i uh just finished sorting out all the pieces for uh the wonder woman was that 1984 sets and uh got the parts sorted out here my wi-fi is still not working so i'm going to use my phone to try and upload these um just set off the parts that need to be consolidated set them off to the side in order and then I'll go through and use the um, inventory tool to, to check and see where those will go. And then um, I also, when I first got here, I uploaded the parts from uh, this Ninjago set here. 71731. I uploaded the parts from that. I think it was about $14 and I paid three bucks for the set, I think. So not too bad there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and get these put away before dinner. All right, so I uploaded the parts. These are all the lots that I'm consolidating, which is why I don't like adding new parts since I'm still consolidating those. Um, these red parts were kind of outliers. This one I didn't see when I was uploading the parts, so I uh, must have missed that somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have those parts in my store already, so they're just going to be con consolidated. And then these I accidentally sorted into two cups, and one of them's in the stack, and one of them uh, was still over on the table. And then, um, yeah, I just got the, the new parts in some of these other drawers. I already put the minifigures up on the wall. Uh, I ad uploaded Cheetah and Wonder Woman figures as figures, and I'm going to part out the Maxwell Lord figure, because he's only like 250 I think, 280 something like that. And I figure those parts are probably more desirable than he is. And so uh, I just threw them all in one drawer and figured I'd bag them up when they sell. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this section. And I might be back later tonight. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. I have a visitor in the brick kiln. And she's helping me sort my Lego minifigures, I guess. Not really. She just likes to pull them out and throw them on the floor. She already visited the non-Lego ones over there. Oh. Are you having fun, Ellie?
good thing you got your passy in. I know you're not going to eat anything. Oh, now you found the balk used. <laughs> hey, it's Just Bricks here with uh, the next clip. It is Tuesday. I'm here putting away the uh, consolidated lots from the Wonder Woman set. Um, my wife and daughter just stopped by to surprise me. And uh, Ellie was having fun pulling out minifigures and stuff. I've got most of that put back away, but she kind of kicked over my my um, windscreens and such. And then these are just the broken pieces I need to get off the floor. But yeah, so I still have this mess all out, but uh, trying to get these parts put away and then get started picking my orders because I need to get those out uh, tonight to make sure that they're done. So um, that's where I'm getting started. All right, all those parts are away except for these three lots um, that need to be bumped up to uh, their own drawers or bigger drawers. I, I had, I think, one more lot that needed to be up upped but I just did it and took took the half of the drawer that these uh, dark tan 2x4s were taken up and just put those pieces in that drawer and put it right back up on the wall so uh just need to get a new drawer for these and these last couple lots so, and done so I'm gonna go ahead and put those back on the wall and move on to packing orders well I went to put away drawer 1042 Never pick up a drawer by the divider. It's a bad idea. I got a little bit of a mess to clean up. There we go, found them all. One of these tiles and one of those blue pieces bounced all the way back behind this drawer of uh, instructions and magazines. So uh, that was fun. It's another milestone. Just finished filling up this whole section. So that means Barring these three drawers here that I just need to double check the quantity on this one. Uh, I think the remark is wrong on this drawer and if this one's got half open. So aside from those three used drawers, I'm all the way up to drawer 1079 before anything's missing. So I think really all these have parts in them up to 1130. So I'm getting close. Gonna have to pull these drawers off and get them st stacked over there for uh, adding parts and get ready for those. So this will be the next section to be uh, toothless, I guess. And then comes the real fun, getting into these new drawers and seeing how they work out. Which should be interesting because, like I said, these these guys here do not stack like at all. Which is going to be a real downside. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, we will see. Got to get into my bin where I've got my studs. Lots of studs. Because somebody ordered one. <laughs> there I am saying something about parts that, uh, the drawers being full. Now I got some that need to be consolidated. I'm probably going to put a divider in here and move stuff around. I think there's another drawer that uh, I noticed only had one lot in it, so I'm going to change that one out as well. So, fun stuff. All right, so those are consolidated down. Uh, these lots were in this drawer here, which was one of my first drawers, 69. And uh, it's going to be one of the first ones to get refilled because since it's a stack on drawer, it won't fit in the acro units, and it also doesn't stack with the acro drawers. So definitely want to get that one done first. So I'm just going to stick it up here for right now and leave it hanging out so I know it's empty. All right, um, dinner time. So after over a week of fighting with this thing and about 40 minutes trying different things and spending another 20 minutes on the phone with Sprint or T-Mobile, I figured out the problem. I used all my data for the month, but the, the little display on here said I hadn't. So um, 
Yeah. Well, now I know. Um, so hopefully it lets me get everything done. All right. Well, after yet another kind of frustrating evening of trying to fight with internet, I'm going to open these four guys. I already cut the tops, but I haven't looked inside. At, if I felt correctly, I shouldn't know what they are, but... All right, so we got the, uh, the lady with the toucan. I don't know what the figure's called. I don't really care, because this is the only thing that I care about in that set. Very cool piece. One of my favorite animals that they've added in the last couple of years. And we got... Shoot. I did not feel correctly, because this is not what I thought I was getting. So, um... I thought... I thought these were the coins from the, uh... The Forestman guy, so... Well, that's disappointing. Because those parts aren't even really worth all that much. This one is what I expected. Again, pieces I don't really care about. For the animal. The little horse there. And then the last one. Got the guy with the little mushroom. <laughs> An acorn hat and a leaf cape. And that's the one I, I went looking for and found the other ones before I found this guy. I just thought he was kind of cute and hadn't gotten one of these yet. So wanted to get that and then couldn't pass up the toucan and the horse and what I thought was a forestman. So I think that's going to wrap up Tuesday night. Um, I did start picking a different order. This one I had to invoice and they wanted me to make sure I had certain parts in stock. This one right here wanted to make sure I had that in stock before they paid for the order, I guess, because they did request invoice. But uh, that's part of their order. The rest of it I'll pick tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap up Tuesday. So I, I guess I'll see you on Wednesday. Hey, Just Bricks here again, um, back in the brick kiln. Uh, this is Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I opened up those big sets last night, the stunts, stunt rally, stunt show arena. I got three copies of that for 50 bucks each. So I took and opened them up last night and then pulled out some of the big pieces, combined all the tires in one spot. Um, some interesting colors. Um, I do really like the uh, windscreen there. Also, get it to face the right direction. This tile. That is really cool. I like that a lot. It makes me think of the 90s sets. But, um, yeah, I uh, just got here and I'm short on time, so I'm going to go ahead and try and rush through picking my orders. Try and knock them out. This is the one I started last night but didn't finish. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to pick those orders real quick. Um, one thing I did want to mention, I just realized I hadn't actually said it on the channel, but, um, I changed my store name on Bricklink back to just bricks. Well, now it's just hyphen bricks. Uh, I did that cause I was missing the old name kind of. And one day I kind of want to do a, uh, a retail location. And to do that, I feel like the just bricks name works a lot better than JB's brick kiln. <laughs> but uh, for the YouTube channel, I'm going to leave that the same just because there are already like a half dozen uh, Just Bricks channels on there. So I figured this made sense. And uh, yeah, that's how it's going to be for a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and get these orders a picked. Of the orders. This one just got some pretty basic parts. Uh, these parts right here are new and these are used over on this side. And then this plate's used as well. And then this order uh, got a lot of red and blue parts. And then uh, these red ones here are also part of that order. And this order here I probably should have pulled out separately, but they got a lot of these modified bricks with the, uh, the bumps on there. They bought some solar panels, which is nice. And uh, 
one of these ornamental fish. It's a very, not a super common piece right there. And then uh, this is also that first order there. Lots of those modified bricks. Oh, that reminds me, I need to find one more of these that's used. I, um, I was short one in my bin. And then this order, they just got a Batman minifigure, probably because the movie just came out. But um, yeah, those orders are pulled. Only took me about 15, 20 minutes, but uh, gotta head out of here. I'm supposed to go somewhere tonight, so I'll have to come back later and actually pack these And up. these are drawers that will need some consolidation in. And then there's these used ones. Some, I think it was just these two drawers that were actually from this this time. The rest are still things I just need to add up and uh, double check my inventory. And I'm pretty sure this remark is wrong and the rest just needs to be done, but I just haven't had a chance to get to it yet. So I'm back in the brick kiln. It is still Wednesday night, uh, a couple hours later, and I made an error. I, I got my orders all packed up and then I had two more orders and I was like well I only have one day worth of internet for like I only bought the one day pass so I was like well I got two more orders I'm gonna pack those uh, pick those real quick just make sure that they're uh, they're not gonna be too heavy and when I uh, finished up my data reset <laughs> i only bought the one day pass and it finished about 15 minutes ago i think so uh i don't have enough internet to get my labels to print so i think i'm going to have to go um i think i'm gonna have to go find some place that has free wi-fi and hope it's good enough to print off labels <laughs> This is ridiculous. Uh, I've got to change my plan next month, I guess, and get another five gigabytes or something like that. That's this. Uh, you know, it gets a lot more difficult when you can't just use your home internet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because we uh, we actually canceled our home internet because I wasn't using it there, and it was too expensive to use just for. Uh, personal use so <sighs> whatever anyway before I do anything I'm gonna part out another couple or sort out another couple of these bags um, I did get a, a little bit done earlier and uh, some very cool pieces in this set so can we go ahead and get these uh, parted out a little bit just more. Just bricks here again. Um, this is Thursday. Uh, last night I parted out some more of those uh, stunt rally sets or sorted out more parts from it. Um, I'm down to, I think it's just the three bags there, one, three, and seven. So I got those left to sort out. I was kind of running out of space, so I made a kind of dangerous stack of cups over here, but I'm going to get... These parts are finished parting this set out, and uh, my, my goal for today is to finish getting this stuff parted out and start getting it uploaded. Um, I'm still having computer internet issues until tomorrow when my plan resets with the new rates and everything, so I'm probably going to pick orders using my phone and then uh, take my laptop somewhere where I have Wi-Fi and purchase the labels and then come back and print them off. So that's my plan of attack for today. All right, so I took over this countertop space as well. And all the parts are in cups or stacks or bags now. I had two of these cups left. I had to open my last pack and down to just two of them so quite a few lots in these sets and some very interesting pieces i definitely like the track i don't know 
how I'm going to like these pieces in my store. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, now it's just time to start packing things away. So I'm going to run through my my inventory and find the parts that are consolidating and get them listed or get them put away. And I get the feeling I'm going to be consolid or upsizing a few drawers this time, reassigning. Because some of this stuff is just, I'm sh it looks very familiar. <laughs> like uh, these 2x4 tiles, I think I have those in, in red. I know I had black ones. And just, there's a lot of large pieces that I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to put them. Like all these tires, I might have to pull out another one of my bins be one of my first bins for new parts but yeah let's get on it so these drawers have all the new lots in them and some more new lots over here added some more lots to those drawers that needed to be consolidated and then we've got one of the drawers that needs to be uh, some of the lots need to be split out of, reassigned. Then I've got all of these parts are already in my inventory, so I have to consolidate, which I'm sure with parts especially like that, I'm going to have to um, reassign those drawers. And then these used lots, I finally went through and corrected this. The, the remark on this and the quantity on this one, and then just kind of condensed down a little bit so those will be uh are just about ready to go back up on the wall and then i've got some more consolidate or uh reassignment drawers here so that's all i have time for right now so i'm going to head home get some dinner and probably come back afterwards so those are finally finished put condensed all those drawers Shoot, I forgot the minifigure parts didn't consolidate. I didn't, um, when I went to assign remarks and put things away, I didn't have the uh, checkbox marked for minifigure parts, so it didn't show the remarks for these guys in my inventory. So uh, I'll have to check that out, though I can see that the one lot's right there. Okay, so I have quite a few lots to put away now, and quite a few... Uh, reassigned lots to put back up as well. So let's go ahead and get these drawers up. And it's gone. Everything's cleared off here too. So that was three copies of 60295 Stunt Show Arena. Very recent set, so I was surprised to see it for $50.99 each. So I parted out three copies of it. So 51 times 3, so it's like 103 bucks plus tax. 153, I think I said that. $153 plus tax. And it uh, parted out for just over $500. So not a bad deal. Took a little bit to get them up there, but um, pretty cool. Oh, and... Uh, little wall update i'm now up to 1153 in the big drawers and 1181 in the small drawers so moving right along won't be long until i'm into the new section and i i guess it's probably a good thing that i'm a little behind on the big drawers because once i get past these i have all those drawers and then the little ones down at uh, the big ones down at the bottom since I numbered straight across instead of by section oh and I added two new cans to my dew collection they are still full because they're garbage flavors but I only paid 25 cents a can for them so and that wraps up that part and let's see what else I can get into tonight. All right, I went through and picked my orders. This is one order. This is my second order. And the most valuable order of the night is this one right here. 
that is a $35 sale right there. So uh, glad that sold. It's It's been there probably a month or two, but uh, good to get that sold. Alrighty, that's going to wrap up this video. Um, all I got left to do tonight is packing up some cardboard and trying to clean up a little bit. It's a little messy in here tonight. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the vlog for this week. Thanks for watching. Till next time, y'all have a good one.